According to the Super Yacht Group, demand has consistently increased over the years, with the global fleet increasing from 3,906 vessels in 2009 to 5,646 in 2019. Meanwhile, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused a surge in purchasing, with super yacht marketing firm Northrop and Johnson reporting that sales for July 2020 will quadruple that of the previous year. As a result, the market is expected to be worth 10.2 billion by 2025, as more yachts larger than 24 meters are ordered. Because of the increasing popularity of these enormous and fairly gorgeous vessels, yacht designers are being forced to increase the ante while developing fresh and inventive designs to ensure that their projects stand out from the crowd. Over the last several years, a variety of unique and inventive super yacht concepts have been shown, including a vessel that morphs into a submarine, a game changing Triminuran design and a yacht built to resemble a big swan. Here are five of the most intriguing boat concepts that could hit the ocean in the near future. Thor Explored This concept is created from the inside out, which is an unusual practice in sailboat design. Gresham Yacht Design, located in the United Kingdom, went all out with the Thor Explores interior, with enormous nautilus windows and a floor-to-ceiling aquarium. The glass floor, however, which becomes opaque at the flick of a switch when visitors need seclusion in the main saloon, is undoubtedly its most remarkable feature. A submerged seating space, an onboard beach club, and a fully certified helideck round out the features of the 100-meter exploration vessel. While the vessel's construction cost has not been determined, Gresham Yacht Design says that Thor Explore is in the advanced phases of design. If it were picked up by a shipyard and rebuilt from the ground up, it may take three to four years, depending on the finish desired. Aqua Aqua is a cooperation between the Dutch yacht design firm Synart and lateral naval architect. It runs entirely on liquid hydrogen and fuel. Cell technology, with the only emission being water, the 112-meter long eco-friendly concept is designed to have a top speed of 17 knots and a range of 3,750 nautical miles. Aqua's method is based on two 28-ton vacuum isolated tanks kept at temperatures as low as 253 cc 423 423 fef. Proton exchange membrane, PEM, fuel cells convert liquefied hydrogen into electrical energy. We took inspiration for the development of Aqua from the lifestyle of a discerning forward, thinking owner, the fluid versatility of water and cutting edge technology to combine this in a 112 meter super react with truly innovative features. Designer Sander Sinot said in a statement back in 2019, Our challenge was to implement fully operational liquid hydrogen and fuel cells in a true super yacht that is not only groundbreaking in technology, but also in design and aesthetics. While there has been a lot of interest in the Aqua concept, the Synod team tells Con Travel that it is still available and hasn't been developed. Avangardia Pier Paolo Lazzarini of Lazzarini Design Studio in Italy has been responsible for some of the team's most radical designs, but Avangardia is possibly his most adventurous yet. The Megaaft concept, which translates to Vanguard in English, takes the shape of a massive swan, thanks to its removable head, which serves as a control tower. The head may be lowered to the center of the vessel while at sea, thanks to an extended crane bridge located in the bow. When Avangardia is brought down, its length will extend by about 20 meters, bringing its entire length to 157 meters. If that wasn't enough, the control tower can be detached from the vessel and operated as a standalone craft. The rest of the boat is divided into five main decks, including a personal port for two jet capsules on the back deck. The yacht concept 
also has two helicopters on board and two helicopter hangars. According to the design studio, its twin totally electric side engines and center Matu rolls, Royce jet engine will allow it to achieve a maximum anticipated cruising speed of around 18 knots, while Avangardia is presently simply a stylistic exercise. The Lazzarini Design Studio hopes to find a buyer willing to put up the $500 million required to construct it. Project 175 This new idea from Dixon Boat Design, characterized as a statement yacht, is sure to make a splash if freshly published renderings are any indication. The low-profile flybridge design, currently known as Project 175, is 54.92 meters long and has an advanced hybrid propulsion system, but its most eye-catching feature is certainly its neon uplights, which highlight its sleek form when the sun goes down while creating the atmosphere of a floating nightclub. The designers claim they aimed to make the sail setup as simple as possible by using tried and tested control technologies with proven in service reliability. This incorporates a catch rig plan with flexible and manageable distribution of sail area and a lifting keel that reduces draft from 23 feet to 15.5 feet. Inside, there is a glass saloon, a formal dining room, five guest cabins, and a jacuzzi. Anders Berg, the concept's naval architect, tells Con Travel that the design has received an encouraging response from the industry but that many critical issues are still to be worked out. The process of developing a new concept project requires us to resolve many of the technical and ascetic disciplines at an early stage, he says. It's not just a pretty picture. There's a lot of accurate design input in there, from developing the hull and appendages, key rudder, to space planning the interior within structural confines and resolving the sail plan and sail handling systems. Berg emphasizes that due to the project's intricacies, construction might take between 24 and 30 months, depending on shipyard capacity, assuming all of the finer elements are worked out. Escalade This remarkable concept is supposed to be the first of its kind to use a trimenoran hull, which is a combination of a monohull and a trimaran hull. It was created by Dutch companies on Wijima's designer Baron Akalm, and G. Jellebilkert, who had been working on the Trimonoran for over 20 years. The two decided to collaborate in order to implement the novel multi-hull concept into a motor yacht design. According to Akon, the Trimonoran is driven by a hydraulic propulsion system and comprises three slender hulls, giving Escalade 30s more area than a similar vehicle, as well as more stability and less water resistance. The hull provides top speed and stability with less power energy because of the hull shape and hydrofoils under the body, Akalm explains. Her body also allows for more comfortable sailing than standard hulls. The hull gracefully slices the waves. Celia Sawyer, a British designer, created the yacht's luxurious interior. While no shipyard had picked up this proposal at the time of writing, it had sparked a lot of interest from possible purchasers and Akon and Anwidjema are currently working on a thorough production project to determine the vessel's pricing. The pair are convinced that Escalade will find a client once it has undergone the necessary testing, and they estimate that it will take 12 to 15 months to bring it to life.